Are you on a survivor annuity? Learn your earnings restrictions going forward. Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today we're going to talk about the survivor annuity. I've done quite a few number of videos on that but I would specifically want to talk about uh, those survivors, they have to go back to work, right? The survivor annuity might not be enough to get them through, uh, you know, make uh, ends meet, so to speak, or, uh, you know, uh, take care of the family, that type of thing. So let's just go back through the survivor annuity real quick. I'll start from there, and then I'll talk about the uh, uh, earnings restrictions going forward. So the survivor annuity will be the... Um, will equal the tier one amount of the employee that has passed and also the tier two amount of the employee of passed. And it's important to remember if you're already collecting, the spousal annuity that you're collecting will go away and you'll, just, you'll receive the tier one, tier two. That's very important. A lot of people think that they're uh, due the survivor annuity and the spousal annuity. That is not correct. It's just the survivor annuity, which is gonna be equal to the tier one and tier two of the deceased employee. So now let's talk about uh, going back to work or if you're even if you're in work, right? And you're uh, uh, on that spousal, uh, on the survivor annuity. So what earnings are gonna count towards the earnings restrictions, right? The reductions, the penalties that uh, come your way by working and collecting. So it's gonna be W-2 income, right? So that's basically anything with a paycheck, uh, you know, twice a month paycheck, end of the month paycheck, whatever it is. That's W-2 income, they'll count that. All right, and then also if you're self-employed, they're gonna take your net earnings, okay? And that's, that's the income that they'll use uh, for the reductions. So how much can you earn before the reductions kick in? So when we're filming this, this is 2023, changes every year, always on the way up. Okay, on the tier one portion of your survivor annuity, okay, the year of your full retirement age, you can earn up to $56,520. But for uh, every $3 you earn over that amount, you're gonna lose a dollar of the survivor annuity. All right, now if you're significantly below, let's say you know under the full retirement age, starting at 62 or even before, anything over $21,240, you're gonna lose uh, $1 for every $2 that you earn on in the tier one portion of the survivor annuity, right? So very important, you gotta, put, you gotta plan for this stuff. Now on the tier two portion, that's where that last pre-retirement employer, uh, employer comes in. So if you're working uh, already and you're collecting railroad retirement uh, and you go back to work, okay, that's where the last pre-retirement employer is. And you're gonna lose $1 for every $2 earned Okay, up to 50%, and there's no income limit here, it just starts, okay, and it goes up to 50% of that survivor annuity on the tier two portion. And that's not even restricted by full retirement age, so if you go past full retirement age, this will always be in there if you're working for that uh, last pre-retirement uh, employer. So very, very important to understand this on the survivor annuity, Right, because you, you know this is all part of the estate planning uh, picture, right? What happens, what ifs, all those type of things. You gotta have those numbers in place so you can make uh, really good decisions, all right? Uh, especially during that time of uh, when a survivor annuity comes into play, which could be very difficult. So I hope you found this helpful, give you some food for thought. F feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. If you're at or near retirement, I suggest you go through the boarding for railroad retirement process. I'll go through things like this with uh, uh, with uh, railroaders. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do appreciate it. Click on the notification bell to get the latest videos. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody.